Yo, 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 it's your homie Dwayne Skirting residing out of Hoochie State, which is Indiana to be exact. And I'm making this video um, using InstaBuilder 2.0. I like InstaBuilder. Um, you can do many things with it. You can create sales pages, you can create blogs, uh, opt in pages, or pages to whatever you're liking and your desire. So, um, today I'm going to show you how to you how to create an opt in page. Using InstaBuilder 2.0, and it's real simple. It's drag and drop. Um, they have templates already set up for you. Um, you can use it, or you can create um, one from scratch. And we're gonna do that, but we're gonna create a. <laughs> we're gonna create um one using one of these templates already. Um, I created a couple. Uh, just to give you an example of some of uh, the, you know, pages I created or something like, like a catcher page. Or oh, that's just a template here. This is some simple I created as far as an opt-in page. Um, this was a template I already created and all I had to do was uh, change the lettering and add my own words. And, you know, I could adjust how many uh, boxes I would like to, but I had to go to my get response. Uh, account and get a code to put it in there and that's what we're going to do so we're going to uh, go to create a landing page we'll get short and sweet now i'm going to choose the same one let me scroll back up and there's so many guys many templates and i usually they give you, uh, I think they give you every month or so, a template or so, a free template or a couple. It's been a while, so I can't remember all that. But this is so powerful that um, I'm going to choose this. This is so powerful that you can do anything you want. You can, um, you can change the picture in the background. You can, you know, upload any image you want. You know, it's so simple. Now, this is the drag and drop editor right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the headline. You know, we're just going to write something. Okay. Um, okay. Go over here. Right here where it says edit. You click on that pencil mark. And we're going to write what we're doing right here. Uh, I'm going to write something simple. Uh, this. Turn, turn 40. Eighty dollars, and I'm just taking this off the top. Turn $40 into $80 commission unlimited. Find out how. How high. Now. And also, I could change the information down here. I also could change the color, you know, if I wanted to uh, change, it, change the color of it, color dynamic of it. Now you can make it bold, you know, it's already bold. I don't know why it unhighlighted itself, but you can make it bold. You want to italicize it if you want to. Um, change the background color, you know. That's how it looks now, like that. But I don't like that. But you, you know, you can do that. So you're just going to take it back to no background color. You can change the color of the font. Um, you can make it green, you know. Not how it's green. You can match with that. I'll just leave that for that. Uh, also, you can change this right here. And also, you could draw, uh, add boxes and stuff. I wanted to add an image. I could put that right here. And I could upload an image. Go over here. 
to the side panel. And uh, what I'll do, I'll just click right here. I'll hit upload image. But, and while that's searching, because I already had image up here, but when you want to upload an image, you'll hit that, and automatically it will upload an image to whatever file you have. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on this, click on this image. Use that. See that? See how you can do that? Pretty cool. And, uh, and you hide that. You can also change the margins and stuff like that. And you know, get all. Oh, I want to get too technical with it, you know. But it's so cool about this and how powerful uh, Instagram 2.0 is. 2.0 is. I'm gonna just leave this like that. I gotta change that the wording. And right here is where your opt-in page is. And you can change. Uh, this is here where you get a form. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to your response. I'm gonna log in right now. Sucks too early for that. <laughs> ah, really, though? Why when I'm recording? Okay, first of all, <laughs> gotta spell my name right. I just happened just to wake up and record it. I don't care. I'm going out in. Arrows and all. They're like, man, you can't remember your own password, man. Can I get your information up? <laughs> but it's all good, though. We're going to keep it Um uh, Now, what I need to do is. Get a code or I'll, I'll create a form, and what I do, we go right here, click this. It's several ways you can do it. Um, you go up here, create a form, or uh, you know, or manage forms. So, what we're gonna do is you know, click that. And what I'm do, we're just gonna do a plain HTML editor, HTML editor, you know, uh, for this. Then we go down here and we'll choose a campaign that we like to choose. So for this one, I'm gonna choose this campaign uh, that I created yesterday, and also you will redirect them to whatever page you want to gonna go to. Um, also, uh, I'm gonna click on the custom thank you page, and we are gonna put that link there in a second. Also, what you want on the form, also one name besides the email, and that will show right here. See how that shows. Also, you could add any other forms as well, you know, you check that if you want to add the birth date and etc. Which is kind of cool. You could, you know, turn into like an application, a job application and get them to opt in like that too. So that's pretty cool. So we got that set. Now we're going to go and uh, what I'm going to do is pause for a second. Okay, now I'm uh look at a, a page that I created that I wanted to be redirected to and I'm going to put that link in uh, my give response auto responder form so I can have a redirect form to uh, they can go to and the one I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose this one double click to the right And this is a page that, uh, example of a page that I created real simple and sweet, a template they already had made, and I just simply uh, added it. Uh, just, just added what I wanted to add. You can add logos like I did there, you know, add, a, you know, sign up buttons, whatever, and you could edit whatever word you want to like. So, enough of that. Now we're going to get to the point. Copy. Copy that link. Go back to my get response and 
Christ that did where it says custom thank you URL page to redirect you wherever offer or whatever it is you have to of service that you want them to go to. Uh, once that's done, I got everything that I want checked. I got the campaign I wanted. I got that checked. And um the subscribe, you can change the wording, but that don't really matter. Um, I have the name checked. And I also have, you know, obviously the email, which is the main thing that you need to collect to build your list. Now, what we're going to do now is copy the code. Copy like that. Highlight it. Right click and copy. Then we're going to go back to here and paste it in right here. Boom, that's simple. Hit process. While it's processing, and then after that, I, I, I want to go back and anything else I want to change, I can change the button. I want to edit the button, change what it says, and then the button text. Um, let's say something. Uh, Yeah, I'm messing up on here. And we gonna let it roll. Get started. And I can't still start it. Like I said, I just woke up too. Probably gonna re-record this. Get started now. Damn, there we go. We can change the font face. All that stuff. I want to change the impact. If I want to make it bold, you know, I'm to change the sizing of it. Pretty cool. I'm going to leave it like, like that. And I see your spacing between the letters, you know, but I don't want no spacing. You can hide that. And I could change all this. All this if I would like, but for this video, we ain't gonna. It's already almost 13 minutes, and we're just gonna leave it like that. And then, what we're gonna do is save it every time we um, do things so we don't lose any data. And then, after that, we go to publish. And there you have it. Also, you can change it permanently. And it's that. Whatever you want to be, you also can uh, go to GoDaddy and you can uh, the, get a domain and you can add this to hide this domain, even though this is a, a domain you have on your on your WordPress site. Just in case if you don't like uh, what the domain is, for example, mine is I am so eclectic mindset, and that's a domain I choose to use to. Um, have uh, for my WordPress site, and uh, but if I want to use something about, you know, like say MCA, I could just change it, get a, a domain from GoDaddy, and simply just add that, you know, uh, what I want to call. I'm just gonna leave it like that to keep it simple and say. Close it. Close that bad boy. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna pick a view. And then we're gonna type in. See how clean that look? And we got the form. Now we're just gonna type in the information. I'm using say email. I'm gonna click that. This is just showing because this is for demonstration. It's showing that I'm already opt in. You are you, uh, you already subscribed to this list to be subscribed, blah blah blah. No, nah, we don't want to update it. So now let me know that it worked. So that this will be ready for anyone to opt in and go to directly to the page I want. And I also have it set up to when they're ready to pay. Using all this from InstaBuilder, this is a very, very powerful, um, powerful software or plugin, I should say. Um, thanks, and that's will be all for this.